Today, I'm really excited to go through the document met. <sighs> hey everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm really excited to go through the October 2018 release feature on SharePoint document management and Dynamics 365 for portals. So over two years ago, this was requested by Donna Edwards, who is another MVP in our community. As you all know, SharePoint document management was available in ADX Studio portals as soon as it was moved to the cloud when it was acquired by Microsoft. It was no longer available and everyone has voted for it as it is the most voted feature in the idea site. So the product team have listened and SharePoint document management is back. So this is what I'm going through today with you. I will show you how to enable it for Dynamics 365 portals. And then I'm going to show you how it works in portals. So are you excited? Because here we go. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is head over to the entity and customizations and you want to make sure that you tick the checkbox for document management. So that's step number one. The other step that you need to do is go head over to settings and Dynamics 365 and you want to open up document management settings and for the entity where you want SharePoint document management to be enabled you need to select it in here so the entity that I'm going to be showing you today is cases so this is what I selected earlier you click next and you follow the wizard to set that all up now once you have done that the next thing that you want to do is head over to the portal details admin center. So to do that, you head over to Dynamics 365 administration center from Office 365. You click on the applications tab, then you select your portal, you click on manage, and then you'll be taken to the portal details admin area. So when you head over to the Setup SharePoint integration area, there's a button over here where you need to click and select Enable. Once you've clicked on Enable, Enable SharePoint integration window appears. And so there's some information that will be displayed here. And then you want to go ahead and click Enable. Then you will be prompted for an account to accept permissions required. Once you have read it and you've accepted it, then you will be presented with the confirmation of SharePoint being enabled. So once that is all set up and when you go back to set up SharePoint integration, um, you'll see that it has now been updated to disable SharePoint integration. So if you wanted to disable SharePoint integration, the same steps would apply. You click on this and then you would get another prompt for that window again. And then the next thing that you want to do after you've enabled SharePoint integration through here is you want to head back into your uh, Dynamics 365 instance and you need to configure the Dynamics 365 entity form that your portal web page is using where you want the portal user to upload files. So because I'm using the case um, entity in this demo today, I will open up the web edit case entity form that is being used by the portal. So the next thing that you do is you create a subgrid and you place it on your entity form. And the entity that you want to select is document locations. By default, you will have it set to my active document locations. So make sure you select active document locations. So once you've done that, you hit save and you hit publish. Okay. So the next step is to head into the portal area, so the Unified Interface app, and 
what you want to go ahead and do is create a child entity permission. So the reason we're creating a child entity permission is because in the portal entity form itself, we would need to enable entity permissions. So when you've enabled entity permissions for your entity form, normally what happens is you have an entity, sorry, you have an entity permission for the entity that the entity form is referencing. In my scenario, it is the case. So the entity permission that I'm going to select today is cases where a contact is customer. And because we're enabling a subgrid on the web hyphen edit case entity form, that subgrid represents um, child records. So we want to create a child entity permission. So you find the entity permission that is being used by the entity form. So in this scenario, it is cases where a contact is customer. And as I scroll down, there'll be a section where there's a subgrid where you can add new entity permissions. So I've created one in here already called customer service related documents and the scope is parent and through there I'm selecting the parent entity permission and then I enable privileges of read, create, append, write and delete. And once you have done all of those steps, then you are ready to upload files in your Dynamics 365 portals. So let's head over now. Okay, so I'm now in Dynamics 365 for portals. Here is a case that I have already created. So I'm going to open up this case and we're going to scroll down and see our subgrid that we had created. So this is the subgrid that I had created and I'm going to go ahead and click on add files. And then when I click on choose files, it'll bring up window explorer, files window explorer, and I can select multiple files. So I've got a PDF and an Azure um, Word document. So I click on open, I click on add files. So it's telling me that I've uploaded two files and when the files have been uploaded, they will be presented in here, which is awesome. So now when we go back into Unified Interface and we go and open up the case record, we'll head over to Documents and we should now see those two files uploaded. Yes, cool. All right, and then just to make sure that they are in SharePoint, um, we can open the location of the document in SharePoint. So we can see that it has been created and here are our two files that we had just uploaded into SharePoint. And when we go back to the case in Dynamics 365 for portals, you can also delete the file and that is because in my child entity permission, I enable the privilege of delete. So I'm going to delete the PDF file and then you'll be prompted with a confirmation just to make sure that you want to delete the file. You click on delete. So it now disappears from the subgrid. So if we go back to the case and we hit the refresh button, we go ahead to the related documents area, that file is no longer there. So we only have the Word file. And likewise, if I go back to SharePoint, the file will no longer appear. So as you can see, by enabling the child entity permission privilege of delete, it will also delete the file in Dynamics 365, as well as in SharePoint Online. And that's it for today's vlog. I hope you really enjoyed 
seeing the new feature, well, not really a new feature, but SharePoint document management back in action in Dynamics 365 for portals. For all of the steps that I went through today, go ahead and check out my blog post because it will all be in there. And I will also provide the URL to the Microsoft Docs site for the official steps as well. And yeah, stay tuned because I have another vlog that will go through another feature as part of the October release 2018. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my vlog as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.